Hello, my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Torna. We are heading into the Tordan Titan today. Uh, we're gonna go around, talk to some people, make sure we don't have any side quests before we do this. And then, oh, I'm afraid. I'm afraid to see what's going to happen. Terrible things, probably. But anyways, it should be interesting. So let's jump right into it. Oh. <laughs> All right, I guess we have a whole new quest here. Uh. Okay. My lords and ladies, I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was wondering if you could help me with something. What with your majesty and Prince Adam out on campaign? It has been decided that I will confer with a special envoy from Gormont. Given that our Danian Titan has been showing signs of decline, it's important that we act now. I plan to air my opinion on the future of both our countries. Our conference was to be aboard this flagship, and the envoy was to come from White Chair in Gormont. But he has not arrived. To get here from White Chair, it's necessary to pass through the Hoary Weald. A dangerous place. We assume something happened to the envoy there. However, we do not have the military resources to mount a full search of the Hoary Weald. Therefore, I thought that I might burden you with this request. Please go to the Hori Wild and search for the Gormati special envoy. Sorry for this sudden request, but I would not trouble if you had any other option. Right. Oh, hi! Where shall we head to next? You've come at just the right time. I could use some skilled adventurers like you. Uh, make sure you don't fall into the the fire, please, Adam. I'm hauled to Jark? Jarkwe? Jark? Uh, I have no idea how to pronounce this name. Now headed for the Artanian warship, anchored at Lasham Cove. But I left the white chair in a hurry and forgot to bring any gifts. I sent my attendants out to, to get some Melosian honey, which is famed around these parts. But they're still nowhere to be seen. This is worrying. The forest is full of danger, so I couldn't go searching for them even if I wanted to. But now that you're here, do you think you could bring back my attendants who've gone to collect the Melosian honey? You'd be doing us a great service. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. How you doing? Not too well, it looks like. <laughs> Help! This must be the special envoy's attendants. Let us rescue. Take out those skeeters and rescue them. My thoughts exactly. All right. Let's probably move over to Hayes as soon as we can. Uh, cause, uh, yes. There we go. Never mind. <laughs> All right. You saved our lives. Thank you. Did you find the Malosian honey that you sought? What? Why are you asking? The special envoy sent us. Ah. Malosian's honey is pretty valuable, and this is the only place in Gormot it can be gathered. The special envoy insisted we needed to give, needed some to give to the Ardanians. I'd also be interested in finding out how delicious it is, but I value people's safety over anything else. Th thank you for understanding. This youth seems far more capable of leadership than Mr. Sh <laughs> we risk another Skeeter attack if we remain here. You're right. Let's go back to the special envoy. <laughs> well, he knows they, they've tried. Uh, let's, let's grab our own. Makes a fine Hi! Thank you for helping out my attendants. If we were without presence, it would be a diplomatic faux pas, which could defend the Ardanians and lead to war. Very well, we should depart soon. Now that I have all my attendants with me, I should arrive at Lashram Cove much quicker. Well, we'd be better. Well, we better be off. Farewell. Uh, dude's gonna probably feel very awkward when he realizes who uh helped him out <laughs> hi your highness everyone you have my thanks <laughs> this morning, it's like oh no the gormati special envoy arrived safely now the conference can begin i'm glad to hear it there are the season troops in the aegis not to mention the state of affairs in Moradain and Gormot. Ara seems to be heading for a period of un un unrest. We would like to hear your opinion on working together to overcome the hardships facing our two countries. It will be done, your majesty. And later... 
You can give us your impressions of the Malosian honey that was so difficult to obtain. Honey, what's all this about? <laughs> oh <my> poor <laughs> This poor dude's having like <laughs> existential crisis here. Like, oh my gosh, hell. I'm supposed to be an envoy. I didn't even recognize the emperor. Thanks for that. All right, this is a fun little uh, I am honored. <laughs> way to start off this. Say, have you met a soldier called Macneth by any chance? He's my subordinate, but he's gone AWOL. I swear, he never struck me as the type to just leave. I thought he had more integrity than that. If you hear any news, no matter how trivial, could you let me know? No ships have left the harbor lately, so I imagine he'll still be in Torna. Maybe he left for the capital? Maybe he just lost his way? At least, let's hope so. Oh. Duplicity. Alright. No if I turn down an opportunity like yeah, this. Sure. Well we'll look for him. Did you get stuck in a house? Are you trying to hide here? Wait. What's wrong? He's there. Enough hiding. Come out and face us. <sighs> Is that an Ardanian soldier? What are you doing here, man? A apologies, ma'am. I got turned around, you see. First time in Torna, you see. A lost Ardanian soldier. Now, where have I heard that before? Huh. Could you be McNeth from Yurth's unit? Oh, yeah, that was it. Yurth's really worried about you now. Um, did you hear me? Looks like there's no fooling you. Nothing for it. I can make my escape over your dead bodies. Uh, I think so. How dare you? Don't think you can take down us. How dare you? Alright, uh. <laughs> I found a Sian encryption device on this man. A spy, then, I see. An Ardanian citizen plotting together with Sia. Death is all he deserves. Hey, you were tracking me down and you didn't even know that? We weren't tracking you down to begin with. Our Ardanian troops have been rounding up the Sian remnants wherever they find them. Perhaps a scum since T would be found out soon and decided to run. Thanks for the compliment. However, I'd refrain from making it sound like it's a done deal if I were you. Or don't actually stay carefree. All the easier for us to sweep under your le your legs from under you. <laughs> I'm glad you're in a high spirits, friend. But have you considered taking your current predicament more seriously? Bah! I'm not about to be lectured by some pretty little torn and princeling. Adam, would you please let us take charge? Sure, go right ahead. But what are you planning to do? Bridget, Aegean. We cannot suffer a caught spy to live. Please handle it in the prescribed way and do be thorough. Okay. Wait, you don't me mean you can't be serious. I'm sorry, Laura. You don't have to look. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> How humiliating. Uh. What? He wouldn't keep still, so it took some doing. And yet, the result speaks for itself. Superb, what, Bridget? Have you been practicing? Are you taking- <laughs> What is this? I told you. Did I not? A caught guy cannot be allowed to live. Henceforth, you will not be allowed to use McNeth's name. Starting today, he will be no more. So, what? I just become someone else? You must be soft in the head. You needn't worry. You look much better this way. What do you want about? Stop mocking me! You know that's not what I meant. Be silent. What's with this intense camera angle? What is happening? What is happening? Help. You insult not only my land, but also my friends. You think I'd overlook it? Be glad you still draw breath. I'm so confused what just happened here. In case you haven't noticed, uh, Hugo gets a bit scared when he's angry. I know not if your overseers are actually Sia, nor simply looking to misdirect our ire. 
What I do know, however, that no overseer would let a captured spy remain in enemy hands. From now on, you'll be a follower of Adam. That should serve as sufficient cover, don't you think? You're, you're helping me? We all have our roles to play on life's rich stage. We simply want to, to be able to keep playing yours. Can you take it from here, Adam? Will do, Fred. I'll make a space for him in the capital. <laughs> I'm sorry, did we just press gang the poor dude? If that had been my or I am from the start, we'd have many more prisoners waiting. But what I am after is the information he has. One day we may need it. That's why I'm giving him to Adam. Okay, fair enough. You'd want an informant. Just to bring the informant over to your side. Uh, okay. Well then, in the meantime, we should go and report back on all this. But what do we even say? We can say that, sadly, Blood Crease Wild Beast got to him before we did. We gave his... He gave his life for our Danian Arna. That's a truly unsettling smile, Hugo. <sighs> this is uh, not how I expected this quest to go. This get up is so itchy. Do Tornids really wear this every day? Ugh. Still, if it saves me from death, I'll find a better life for myself than spying. He died. He totally died. Yes. I sound convincing, right? Uh... McNath is dead? Done in by Wild Beast? I see. He was a bit thin and not the strongest fighter. Against an enemy like that, he didn't stand a chance. But why did he have to go alone? What was he thinking? Why? Well, no use crying over it. Sadness won't bring him back. I'll just have to keep going for him. I'll get back to my duties now. Thank you for bringing me the news such as it was. I feel bad like to this guy, but uh, at least he has... Closure of some didn't sort. Have to, but thanks. Oh. Oh. Okay. Community level up. Very good. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna help some people. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I hear you've been busy, right? People have been talking. You helped my kid brother the other day too. As a citizen of this great town, I salute you. Thanks. So, uh, on that note, I've got a bit of a request myself. Would that be all right? It's been on my mind lately. Okay. You see, it started appearing in those woods there. And don't ask me what it is or anything stupid like that, okay? You don't believe me, do you? I didn't either till I saw it with my own two eyes. Could you, uh, take a look? I'm in charge of this spot here, so I can't very well leave my post. Can I count on you? If you just take the woods entrance, you'll be able to pick up some hints. I'm sure someone was there. All right, that's... I would be no leader if I turned down an opportunity like this. Sure. Mysterious tracks. Well, hi. Is there another... Uh... Slow and steady. Laser focus. Google. Go Google. I have no idea how to pronounce this. I see a trail. That means our quarry is no ghost. Oh my gosh. Send help. Uh, no wonder you are so confused. It's just like... Angor's wandering all over, huh? Trail ends here. Her mystery opponent must have scaled the cliff. Or perhaps soared up and over? Are we talking about the same beast prince? Our stompy, trampoly friend. Now it has wings, is that it? That would be a curious and fascinating development, no? Um, it cannot have simply vanished, can it? Don't be stupid. It's a dumb animal running around in circles. Ah, oh, yes, of course. How silly of me. It's not like ghosts actually exist. Oh my, Hayes. Are you afraid of ghosts? N nonsense. I'm just concerned about the possibility. I see. Very well, then. I should probably not mention that. Huh? What do you mean, that? Oh, don't you feel its presence? Even though it's right behind you? Why why would you do this to poor Hayes? <laughs> Bridget, stop. Don't you think that was somewhat mean, Bridget? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't actually think she would fall for it. 
Lady Laura, please, there are no ghosts, right? Ghosts don't exist, do they? I'll have to excuse Hayes. This is her one and only weakness. It's all right, Hayes. If we ever do see a ghost, which we won't, I'll promise I'll chase it away for you. Good? How now, Bridget? You needn't be pouting like a chided schoolchild. You've shown us a side of you we don't often get to see. That alone is worth noting. Thank you, your majesty. <laughs> They're just both like, ah. Come on, all of you. All this fawning is making me itchy. Fine, fine. It seems the trail has gone cold. Let's go back and report our investigation so far. All right. Uh, ghost? Flying ghost? Doors very stompy ones? We, we don't know. It's Bigfoot. Absolutely. Thanks for all your efforts. Well, have you found anything? We found some tracks, but we had a dead end while following them. Is there any chance what you saw wasn't a human, but a monster? Huh? Wait, over there? Who's that? Eh? No, I will not fall for the same trick twice. There's no such thing as ghost. Hey, look out! Not ghost! Googles? Oh boy, this is bad. Cornelian, go get reinforcements. But what about you? We'll be fine. If there's one thing we're good at, it's stuff like this. Then it seems like we're more alike than I thought. Please no please hold the post for me a while. And no dying on the job, you hear? Ah, uh, yep. We'll be done before you're back. Alright. Oh, this is easy enough. Hey. Quite wise in the way of the there world. we go. No problem at all. Think you could teach me a few anecdotes. <sighs> they gave me a fright. What was that just now? Say, this wasn't the first time we were neck deep in Google's, right? Is that a coincidence? I don't think so. I don't think I'm ready to joke about it yet, personally. But they may have been the relatives of the Googles we fought earlier. They're definitely driven. Yeah, it's hard to think that we're actually storming the city. I think your theory is the more valid one. Whoa. Hmm. Looks like we got some fans while we weren't even looking. Sorry you had to wait. Is everyone okay? Hell and hearty, as you can see. <laughs> so we didn't have to rush after all. Still, it was a good job. It was a job well done. Carnelian did a good job bringing us here. So I don't suppose you feel like joining my little team. We could always use more skilled fighters. I'm honored by the invitation. I really am, but what would happen to this guard post then? <laughs> right, you get a point. Hmm, how about we put Chalcedoni back on guard duty and have Carnelian join the main team? Hold on a moment. Why can't they both serve together? Didn't you say you wanted more skilled fighters? Well, you see, guarding the gates to the capital is the foundation of our duties. It's not like just anyone could do it. I think for sure that one of the siblings needs to stay here. In that case, it's simple. I'll be fine here so my kid brother can... You know I hate it when you do that. Stop acting all goody-goody, bro. Chelsea, what are you talking about? You think you always have to take the back seat, right? Just because you're older and have to be nice to me? <laughs> but to that, it only makes you feel good and I'm sick of it. I'm sorry to butt in here, but there's one thing I have to say. Do you really want to bicker like this? If the fighting breaks out tomorrow, you might not see each other again. If you don't end tonight on a good note, you could regret it for the rest of your lives. Hmm... <sighs> She's right. There's no guarantee that peace will return anytime soon. I didn't quite realize that before. I'm really sorry. Me too. I said a bit too much. Sarge, I've got a request. Could I please get a promotion? I want to cool my head. Take a tour of the gates again. See if I can do better this time around. Oh, that's sudden. You sure, son? Yes, sir. There might be another attack like we had today. If my bird is here alone, I'll be worried. <laughs> You're not just saying that, are you? I told you to cut it out, didn't I? Just treating me like a regular squad mate, standing duty together, alright? I'll share the bread in and work arm in arm like brothers should. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think I understood until now how I made you feel. That's because you're dumb, bro. Go on, just say thank you and let's be done with it. <laughs> I, I love a happy ending. Oh, get a grip. <laughs> I feel like the next time Googles come, you guys will be ready for them. 
Oh, anything but those. <laughs> well, anyway, you cut it. At least we'll feel safe with such expert gate guards keeping watch. <sighs> Looks like I'll have to start recruiting squad members from scratch. Hey, I know someone that wants to join, you know. Yay! Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> it is. How reliable. Yeah. Are your fish okay? Are the fish back? <gasps> Are the fish dead? Did they die? I'm so sorry. I mean, I, I noticed they were gone after the attack and you don't look too, ah, uh, no, the fishies. Sorry, but if you came here for fish, you'll be sorely disappointed. There's not a single one left around here. You saw it too, didn't you? Aegis and his mooks ruined everything. Yeah, I must go down for the fishies. They had these brilliant shining wings. And the light they shut off somehow ended up killing all, all the fish. But I'm not going to give up. I'll fill these little pails of mine with fish, little by little. I'll get the shoal going strong once again. You don't think you'll be able to help, do you? You'd only have to bring me the fish you catch. I want to collect as many kinds of fish as possible, and that's a bit difficult to do myself. I'll be glad of the help. I will absolutely- the fish that could be- Don't you worry. I will absolutely help you. Fish, fish. Uh, yeah. Bring you at least one of each. Oh, sweet fisher. Okay, there we go. That's great. Just enough to get me started. I'll get them in my trusty pail straight away. I wasn't wrong that he had killed off the fish. Oh, look at them. Oh. They seem to be swimming around happily enough. Yes, indeed. Spirited enough to match the dauntless courage of Torn and Knights. The people of the capital will be most pleased. Aegeon, what do you think about these fish? They seem to grow enough to eat by my... They seem grown enough to eat by my assessment. If I can be so bold, may I su suggest Carpaccio? Not quite what I meant. Terrific. Well then, I'll raise them carefully so they'll be the prettiest fish you've ever seen. Thank you so much. Okay, next up is the front moat. Used to be full of fish till the Aegis attacked the capital. The moat was teeming with life. I know you don't really know me or anything, but I'm really counting on you to help. Will you catch some fish we can use to restock the moat? It'll be such a lift to the atmosphere of the area that if we could get the moat back to how it used to be. I really do ho hope you'll be able to help. Absolutely. For the fish. Uh, yeah, I have a ton. Okay, uh, let's try this. Oh, that's 30. Okay. I mean, I'm sure Torn and Trout's easy enough to find for them. Um, wow, I can't believe you've managed to get so many. Okay, it's just a, just a mo- The moat will be back to normal in no time. Look at all those fishies! They're beautiful! Oh, what a sight. A typical torn in scene if ever there was one. It seems there are some things that Melos cannot destroy. That's a lesson we must take from this. That's right. We can't allow these small pleasures to be taken from us again. Oh, the fishies! Seeing all the fish swimming happily really brings the area back to life. No, that's not true at all. The only way we're bringing this place back to life is by pulling together and looking to the future. Still, I couldn't have got this far without your help. I'll take care of these little fellows. You have my word on that. And once again, thank you. All right. I am more than happy. I've never seen the capital in this kind of state before. Some guy has been following me around a lot lately too, which is the last thing I need right now. He even keeps coming to the shop. I think he's a traveling performer or something. I'd wish he'd go away. He seems happy whether I'm rude to him or even if I give him the silent treatment. What's that all about? I guess he doesn't seem like a bad person at least. But I'm just- I just- I still just want him to leave me alone. I'm not much of a people person. I don't like being pestered. How can I get him to understand that? I mean, yeah, alone time is, uh, very nice. He'll be loitering around somewhere, no doubt about it. Oh, sorry, are you a customer? I'm afraid you'll have to wait a bit for the shop to reopen. My husband's gone AWOL. Well, he went to, out to get fish. 
And then the Aegis attacked, and all the fish around here went belly up. You remember? All around that time, I'll... He said, I'll catch the fish myself, and went off some by himself somewhere. And he's not been back since. The fish are back at the aquaculture shop now, so there's no reason not to reopen the shop except no husband. And there are lots of monsters outside, so I can't exactly abandon the shop and go wandering. I'm ashamed to burden a customer with something like this, but... I need someone to find my husband and tell him to get back here to the capital. Can you help me? My husband said he wanted to go up to Cooley Lake to land a big catch someday. So you might start up there. Hope you can find him for me. Thanks. Hope he takes a hike. <laughs> we never turn a blind eye to people in need. Uh, yeah. Let's see what this other quest is. Hey, you lot. Hope you don't mind me asking, but... Are you the ones who go around the place helping people in need? Absolutely. Well, uh, I wouldn't exactly go that far, but we do what we can, I suppose. Good enough for me. Name's Gio. I'm the local handyman. Listen, since you're here, can I ask you a really huge favor? This, be this better be worth our time. Well, I won't lie to you. It won't be straightforward. Troubles of the heart never are. Troubles of the heart? Your troubles, I presume. No, no, it's to do with a pal of mine, actually. We share a table sometimes down at the local. He wants to send a custom-made gift to this lady who's caught his eye, but... That's not really my area of expertise. On top of that, one of the key materials he needs is a rare ore that you can only gather at night. I think I know this stuff. Isn't that a uh, pure stone? Hey, you sure know your geology. You only get it at Hangnail Crossing. It's used to make sweet nothings. I think we should help them. It's a wonderful thing to be able to help Love Blossom. <laughs> I guess we can help out. Besides, it'd feel weird just to ignore it now. Be honest, Mithra. You want to see how this romance pans out, don't you? Don't put words into my mouth, Bridget. <laughs> Alright, I think you've got the gist of it. Here's everything you need for the job. Uh... Oh, okay. All that's left is to get the pure stone and turn it into something guess-worthy. And uh, I hardly need to tell you this, but it wasn't me who came up with sweet nothings, alright? Sweet nothings indeed. Yet, who's to say this woman is even aware of this man's affection? Yeah, it's kind of putting the cart before the horse, isn't it? Anyways, let's give this a shot, shall we? <laughs> Alright. My dude, uh, you don't need to do this anymore. Hey, never expected to meet someone else up here. You're here to fish too? That's my first time up here too. Huh? You're not? Took us out I go missing and since you look for me? Huh. Could missing, that's over the top. I just come up here to try to catch some fish to replace the ones we lost in Torna. What? The fish are back to normal? Ah, oh, Tyler had you sorted out. I see, I see. Wait! Did you say my wife Chica had sent you? Wait, wait, wait a minute there. My wife, is she in good spirits? Super angry? An anger worse than the Aegis could ever muster. I, I better go. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> Thanks to you, my husband Harmon is back. I really wanted him to thank you himself. You know, straight from the horse's mouth and all that. But he brought the fish he caught back to me, and before I knew it, he'd sl slipped off again somewhere. Likely he's found a new fishing spot and couldn't wait to go and try it out. I'll give him such an earful when he gets back, but he's still my husband. And I can't do without him, so you'll have to make do with my thanks. <laughs> Da -da -da. Hi. Hey, Gio. Don't tell me. It's finished, isn't it? It sure is. Voila! The Jenner article. Oh, it's wonderful. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. At long last, I have it. A way to melt her ice cold heart. Ice cold? Oh, is this the art dealer? Is he the one that was harassing the poor <laughs> Um, best of luck. Thank you so much, everyone. You're all very kind. Uh, though, uh, if you don't mind asking, who are you? It was harder than expected to find everything I needed and put it together. These people helped me out. Oh my goodness, in that case, allow me to double, no triple my gratitude. It's alright, really. We're just glad to have been of help, somehow. I do hope it goes well. Oh, you needn't worry on that front. 
For no woman on all race can resist my resting charm. Ha ha ha. Did this guy hit his head on something? He's always been like this, I'm afraid. An affliction since birth. Wait for me, Sarah, my beloved. Now I can prove to you that the two of us were lovers in another life. As you can see, he's got a bit of a habit of falling head over heels. Still, you've got to admire his strength in the face of adversity. Guess I'm a little too grounded in reality for that. <laughs> well! You really shouldn't have. I guess we're gonna go see how this uh, turned out. Uh. Oh no. It is the art dealer. Oh. Look, no matter how many times you bring it up, I still don't want to hear it. We don't know when the next attack might come, do we? There's no place for levity at a time like this. No, Sarah, you don't understand. That's exactly why no one knows what's coming. We were destined to be together, you and I. No, wait, don't go. At least let me ask you this. Why are you so sad all the time? Sad? Me? Yes, it's as if you're always trying to bottle up all your emotions. Look, I, like I told you, it's because... Now you know what? I'm done. Why bother explaining myself to you when you don't respect me enough to listen? Oh, Sarah, I love your angry face, too. It's so adorably contorted. Richard, smack him upside the head, please. Unbelievable. Okay, fine. If you want to get with me so much, bring me a rainbow blossom as proof of your feelings. Oh, flowers? Oh, what a wonderful idea. Why didn't I think of that? But, uh, wait a minute. Isn't that particular genus extinct? Oh, well, if you're going to let that stop you, then we've got nothing left to talk about. No, this this isn't over. In fact, it's just the beginning. Sarah, the love I feel for you will never die. Just like I hope that extinct flower didn't. And I'll prove it to you. Dude, calm down. I'm... I'm so sorry. I didn't know... Okay. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, you're that traveling performer's friend, aren't you? Mm hmm? Is something wrong? I'm sorry to impart you uninvited, but this is urgent. I just couldn't wait. Don't worry about it. We have always have time to hear a person out. What's got you so flustered? Thank you. It's Leo. He's gone missing. He must have gone searching for the rainbow blossom. Rainbow what now? It's, uh... Oh, I really thought it'd be enough to make him give up the whole thing, and I never thought he'd actually go and... That's your mistake right there. He's the type who only gets more fired up by obstacles. You could have told me that sooner. I'm not really an expert, but is love really a thing that needs to be proven? I just don't understand how someone can believe in something so blindly. All this talk of love and destiny he spelt... He may be impulsive and hot-headed, but... Oh, sorry, that's Ezra. He may be impulsive and hot-headed, but he's not a liar, just an idiot, like he's clearly demonstrated back there. That's not what I meant. You don't trust him, and you're afraid to open up to him because you're not sure. Is that so wrong? I didn't say that. I just thought that maybe your real reasons lay elsewhere. Anyway, this rainbow blossom, are you sure it's really extinct? I couldn't say for sure, but I've heard that here in Torna, it may have survived in a secret area somehow. You used to see it all over, but before, but then with over expectations and changes in the climate, its numbers dwindled. Is that so? Then I imagine he would also try to seek out the secret area you speak of. He fancies himself an adventurer, does he now? I'm sorry you had to get involved in our stupid business. You know, I didn't mean for anything bad to happen, I just... It's okay, we understand. For starters, we'll go search for clues. There's absolutely no need for you to blame yourself. I think I know exactly where it is. Do -do 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 -do. Did you get caught by a spider? Or maybe a plant. Hi! Are you still living? Hey, isn't that... This is bad news. It's hard to argue with that assessment. We can assess later. For now, we have to move. Uh. 
Guys, up. Please don't die. Alright, that one's done. Okay, well, I guess we're saved by the quest. He He's not breathing. <laughs> Why? If he's dead, then I guess it's all over. At the very least, he did accomplish his goal. We should let Sarah know about this. His life was the price he paid to get the proof he needed. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. First, we should bury the body. A traveling performer like him deserves a better resting place than this. Oh, yeah, kind of get lost if he kind of dies. Uh. Well. Stroll. Right. Uh, that flower, it's. Leo found it for you, but it cost him his life. I'm so sorry we weren't able to bring us back with us. I can't believe it. I don't know if it'll make it any easier, but he seemed at peace when we found him. At the very least, I don't think he suffered. I always knew there was no helping that guy, but I never think he'd take it this far. Leo, you fool. You called old bosom buddy of mine? Eh? Oh. What? Ah, oh, good. We're right on time. I happened to pick him up somewhere. Chatty old fellow, isn't he? Not to be rude, but I was hoping you could take him off my hands now. I said, what has happened? Oh man, that was a thrilling ride. I really thought I was dead for sure this time. Uh, you, you're, then who was? It looks like we've been taken for a ride. Word of warning, bud. I don't li much like practical jokers, except I do like to punch him when I can. I don't see how this is possible. I'm just as bemused as a lot of you. In all my long years, I've never heard of a human digging their way out of their own grave. Wise Elder, thank you for the praise. I'm also for the help. I'm glad you came along when you did. I'm not ex still not sure what happened exactly, but it seems we're in your debt again, Uncle. Dad, oh no, I think nothing of it. Now then, I think I've done my part, so I shall leave it to you kids. Oh uh, yeah, you've got places to be. I knew you were an idiot, Leo, but this really takes the cake. Wait, wait, I'm not following. What happened? Did you die or didn't you? Well, what happened was, I heard you calling me from a great distance with the sadness in your voice. Hey Sarah, deep down inside, wouldn't you rather be happy? Wouldn't you rather smile? I guess maybe just... <laughs> Knocked out cold. I realized what, looking for the flower. That's the reason I'm so hung up about you. It's because I really want to know you. Mm. All right, I give up. You showed some real courage there, so I guess I can try to give you an inch. Y you mean, I'll have tea with you sometime, sure. Sorry, I may have been too quick to judge you before, so... I love you forever, right? That's what you were going to say. Calm down, my dude. Are you deaf or just... <laughs> Architect, give me strength. All I meant to say was welcome back. Please don't go get yourself killed again. Oh, Sarah, my angel. Punch him. Just calm down. She's like, just want some tea. At least everything's finally on the opening. Open now. So you decided to give him a chance? I'm still apprehensive. I won't lie. But I suppose you can't go through life without taking some chances. Thank you for helping me realize that. <laughs> I was just in the back like, dude, dude, you need to stop doing this, okay? <laughs> right back at you. Hi! How's the insect's hunt going? <laughs> it's no use. This is never going to work. Well, look who it is. Hello again, friend. Oh, you guys. Marcus, wasn't it? You're looking a bit lost there. Need any help? Uh, oh, no, not really. You're not fooling anyone. You sounded really upset just now. Don't try to pass it off as something unimportant. Indeed. Why don't you tell us the problem, Marcus? We might even be able to do something about it. Hey, Adam. You're sticking your nose into other people's business again. Quit it. Now, Mithra. It always pays to help out your fellow man. You never know when you might need help in return. That's a fair point, I guess, but still. So, Marcus, tell, care to tell us what's on your mind? 
All right. So the other day, you a lot helped me catch a load of bugs, yeah? I'm really grateful to all of you because you did an awesome job. But then I kind of realized I'm kind of useless by myself. So this time, I decided to have a go all on my own. I even made these blueprints for a bug catching machine, but... But then... I like tinkering with machines, so I know the ins and outs of them, but I've never made one from scratch before. I built everything according to plan, but there's no guarantee it'll work. And now I'm dead nervous about it. And that's what you were mumbling to yourself about, was it? Pretty much. I have to say, making a blueprint like that is really something. It's clear how much time you've invested in this endeavor. Huh? You know how to build stuff, mister? I haven't. The faintest idea. <laughs> what? Ugh. Still, it's evident that you're really serious about this. It, it is? The fact that you're worried about it, success is a sign of your determination. It's perfectly natural. You have a clear goal in mind and you'll do anything to achieve it. Am I right? I can see a more noble goal than that. Just give the word and we'll help you out. Have more faith in yourself, Marcus, and let's finish this thing together. That's so nice of you. Okay, then. I'm not giving up. I'll just keep trying till I get it working just the way it's supposed to. Oh, I believe in you, child. Okay, so here are the blueprints for Bug Catcher Turbotron BGX 5000. Bug Catcher Turbotron BGX 5000? What an inspired name! Now that's something I'd wish I'd had when I was a kid. Adam, will you shut your trap for a moment? Not you. You keep going. Uh, right. Well, the machine it's, itself is not quite finished yet. I'm still missing some parts. I'll probably need about three sunset brackets and a charge shaft. It'd be awesome if you guys could go and pick those up for me. Oh, yes, sir. We'll have those parts delivered to you on the double, sir. Boys and their toys. I mean, I would appreciate a bug catcher. Being nice to kids is one thing, but this is getting beyond a joke. <laughs> Homegrown inventor. To assist. Yeah, I think we just, I think we have the parts. Looks like it. Thanks guys, this should be enough to get the machine up and running. I'm this close to finishing it now. Let me go and attach the parts quickly and then I'll bring it straight over. I believe in you, kid. Come on, Marcus. Oh. Not what I was expecting, but I guess it's more like a bug trap than like going out and catching things. Aha! So this is the fabled bug catcher Turbotron BGX 5000. Would you look at that? Wow, this, my friends, is a true work of art. So how's this thing even supposed to work? You better not be expecting us to lug it around town or anything. Huh? Of course not. It just creates a smoke screen that the insects get drawn to. You just have to take it to a place where there are lots of bugs and let it run. They'll come straight to you. Bravo, Marcus lad. You are a legend. Thanks, but uh, is it okay if I ask you guys for another favor? Fair way. We've come this far together. We can hardly quit halfway through, can we? We're a team, remember? Yeah, thanks. Go on then. What was it you wanted to ask? Right. You know where the Harad Hills are? Do we? Yeah. They're near Filtley Village, as I recall. It's oh, some way out from the capital beyond Danag Desert. That's around about the place where we first met, isn't it? Thing is, I'm looking for a specific type of bug, and I hear lots of them fly around the Harad Hills. I was wondering if you could take my machine there and collect some for me. Absolutely, we'll do it. Don't you worry, the bug catcher Turbotron BGX 5000 will be safe with us. Yeah, alright, I really hope this works. Oh yeah, one more thing. Um, this being my first ever invention and all, I really want to know if it works the way it's supposed to, so make sure to tell me all about it. Oh, you can be sure of it. In the name of Torna, I, Adam Origo, swear it will be done. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where we're going. Okay, there we go. This seems as good a spot as any. And on you go. Huh, what is this? A smoke scheme for attracting bugs. Weren't you listening? Uh, I'm not sure I approve of the smell. Well, it works. Oh, what's with all these monsters? They are technically bugs. Hmm, I suppose we can conclude that the smoke is more effective in attracting monsters than bugs. 
Oh, that's just great. Stupid piece of junk. More trouble than it's worth. Hey, it's a poor kid. Guys, we can moan about this later. Kind of got more pressing matters here. Great success. So, not, not a full loss. Uh, hey, let's uh, collect some bugs for him, though. Isn't this fun? Yes, yes. Okay, we got this. Agate would destroy that thing. Agate would be like, why? Why would you even want this? It's, it's good, Agate's not around. Hi, it didn't quite work, but also it did. Depends on your definition of success. All right. Hey, you're back. So how'd it go? Eh, that's roughly what happened. I'm sorry we couldn't have been more help, lad. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's not your fault in any ways. This just proves my invention needs more work. It, this was just a prototype. But I guess it'll be a bit longer before I can make that medicine for her. Medicine? What now? Wait! Ever so sorry, but would you mind if I borrowed a moment of your time? Uh, sure. Oh, hi, Gideon. I couldn't help but ever hear the word invention, you see. Might we attribute this invention to your esteemed persons? Oh, not us here. This That honor goes to this boy here. What's that? The stripling built it? Who's this geezer? An excellent question, my dear boy. Uh, it is I, the greatest inventor that Torna has ever known. A man known only as Gideon. Um, I wasn't asking you. Well, that's entirely besides the point. Gideon has noticed your talent, young fool man. Of that, you should be thankful. He's not even listening. What is your name, boy? Mar Marcus? What about it? Marvelous. Well, then, from this day forth, Marcus, how... I would like to take you under my wing. How about that, eh? Huh? You want to teach me stuff? Nah, thanks. I'm not interested. Good heavens, are you quite sure? Why, well, I can think of dozens of children who would jump at such a chance. Go oh, ask those other children, then. I don't want to. Wait, let me step in for a moment here. Pardon? Marcus, look at it this way. Ultimately, you want to perfect your machine, yes? Does that matter? Does it matter how you go about doing that? Isn't that what matters as you succeed? Ah. I think it'd be best for you to learn the skills you need from this man and then bring your goal to fruition. That is, if you feel you can tolerate his eccentric ramblings. But I think this is well within the realms of your ability, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I get it already. So, yeah, I'll do it. I'll give it a go. If this weirdo knows how to build stuff, he can teach me for all he's worth. I'm not going to let one stupid little failure get me down. Nah, -uh. that's a good lad. If only everyone had your spirit. Aw. You sure about that? That was pretty reckless getting him fired up like that. It'll be fine. He learned a valuable lesson today. That failure paves the way to success. If you've risen up from the jaws of defeat once, you can survive in almost any environment after that. And that's not all. Oh? He also reminded me of something I'd almost forgotten. That anyone, if they believe in themselves enough, has the power to overcome any hardship. When you're an adult, it's easy to lose sight of that simple effect. fact. Is that a lesson you had to learn? Maybe, maybe not. Meanie. Anyway, I think we're done here. Time we made a move. See you, Marcus. I'm sure we'll pass cross paths again. Yeah, bye-bye. Thanks for everything. Aww. Okay. Yay! Hi, Rolly Bolly. How? How is this possible? Friends are, are unreal. May, you want to hear about what ultra-tough mission entail? Uh, the whole thing is... Rolly Polly and Corgane take so much time. With testing of candidates, actually got kicked off mission. <laughs> Rolly Polly such silly billy pawn. Should have been more attention paying. Mm. Hey, these things happen in the field of work of mercenaries. Cannot help. Please not to look at with death stares. But it's not all for nothing. We realize that now. Had opportunity to meet incredible driver and blade friends. Yes, it's all worth coming to far flung land of Torna to meet new friends. Also, while on subject, if friends give really pulley little digression. Lack of mission mean lot more time for sightseeing of sights of Torna. Plenty of walkie walks. Hope to see friends again on travels. Please not to forget names and faces of Rolly Polly and Kragane. Alright. Alright. We have more community. You Very good. Let's uh see what we're getting ourselves into. 
time, oh I'm afraid. God. Ah, this is new. Oh. This place would make a perfect base of operations. Interesting. Considering what we saw in the base game, this is not at all what I was expecting. What an incredible place. Huh. It's the matrix of our Titan. What does... When the time comes, this is where blades come to be reborn as titans. Mm. <gasps> you mean we'll all become titans someday? Yep. It's nice to be here again. <laughs> After 800 years. Were you born here too, Azurda? I wonder mm. what Blade Azurda was like. After all, I was a blade born from the Tornan Titan. Of mm. course, I don't have any memories of that time. Mm. Once a blade becomes a Titan, they can live without being bound to the driver who awoke them. Mm. One day, they may come to watch over their children as the very ground beneath their feet. Hmm. And the fleeting bonds become eternal. It's the basis of the Tornan Creed. Eternal bonds. So, what now? Malice said he was going to wait. Hmm. But can we really believe him? No, you can't ever I believe him. No. Well, I guess in this case, but... Why so? He was enjoying himself. That's why. That's fair. I'd say he's having way too much fun to stop right now. <sighs> he said that humans long for death. And that he was happy to oblige. Mm. Benevolent servant. <sighs> mm. Ooh. So, any plans for the rest of the day? <laughs> You've got your award ceremony tomorrow. Best not to get carried away. Oh, right. Jin's got a point. You can take a walk around town if you'd like, but in all honest, it would be better... We'd be better off staying by at the inn. Yes, we don't know when we might be next called upon. So, no one's in the mood to go out. Well, I don't blame them. Am I the only one nervous about the award ceremony? I don't even know what to wear. Just wear what you always wear. All right. To the end. Hi. We're gonna rest. So we can continue with this story. Hey, Jen. That mask, you don't need it anymore. <laughs> yeah, since you're a Knight of Torna now, there's no danger of getting in trouble for resonating with a stolen core. What should we do with that? I keep it. Nothing, I think. I think I'll keep wearing it. You went to all the trouble of making it for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Huh? Someday I'll die, and just like that you'll return to your crystal. Even if you forget everybody, at least you might be able to keep the mask that I made you. <laughs> Laura. Oh, don't make me sad. But I imagine that day's still a long way off, so don't worry. <laughs> if I were a praying man, I'd pray this journal finds its way to you. Trusting that it will, I will use these last words to pass down a means of carving the bond between myself and my partner into this flesh. 
this is how it is done. Oh, terrible things. Nothing to worry about. It's just a small ceremony. So, I'm officially a torn and driver now. Okay, let's make some memories. <laughs> oh, it's from the sea. Okay. Adam's star is rising. It seems that the people love him. Huh. And naught but the fruit of the king's whimsy and an obscure woman. Ah. Yet if only he were not the driver of the Aegis. Hmm. <laughs> You'd each have your just share of dignity. Hmm. I guess you failed. So he's a bit salty about that. I see. I mean, like, you only have I yourself to blame really for that, true, technically. Then. Certainly, I did give life to Malos, but when he acts, it's divine will. The destruction of the world is the will of the divine. Indeed it is. Did did. Malos is the instrument of destruction. Making then the why is Mithra will opposing him? Takes many able hands. Okay, you got a crazy look in your eyes, dude. I mean, not surprising you are insane, but uh... Dude, you should have just sought therapy. <laughs> oh, It may be this is exactly what they wanted. Become titans. Have a longer life with humans. <laughs> huh? Oh, nothing. I was just remembering the previous time you said that. Oh? I did? My reply was, how about you? And what do you think you said? Uh. I don't wish for forever. All I want is my life with her. That's plenty. Ah. Spoken like a true blade. No one can begrudge you that. <laughs> I wonder how it was for you. Well, honestly, I suppose I may well have been just like you, Jean. Still. Can't really know. Still? Being like this isn't so bad either. Hmm. After some years or centuries, you find yourself ready for new relationships. Different stage of life. I came to realize that. New relationships. Oh, you don't make the best ones in the future, but ah. Uh... Oh, he's just so excited. Chin, there you are. Where have you been? 
The capital outskirts. I wanted to pick some ingredients. Oh, you're joking. This is the capital we're in. It's packed to bursting with high-class nosh around here. Are you still going around for foraging in the dirt? On the other hand, Jin's cooking really is unparalleled. And there is a certain appeal in making food yourself. Yeah, okay, that's... That's spot on, actually. So, I spoke briefly with Azurda. <laughs> really? What'd he say? It was a difficult subject for me to wrap my head around. New relationships? No, I'm more than happy with what I have right now. Alright, time to draw up some plans. To get the seal back, we'll have to make our way to the Torn and Core. Question is, what then? Malos implied that we still have some time. Ruther seems we to believe we can take him at his word. You can, yeah. He's enjoying this, then, is he? Ugh. I know how you feel, Adam, but perhaps we should be thankful. His, chan his own hubris has allowed us this chance. We'll use this time we've got to prepare for the battle ahead. Right, we need to be stronger still or we'll never make it through this. The citizens are in fear of what may befall them. I believe you're best equipped to give them the strength they need, Laura. What, me? Yes, you are properly a torn in knight now. A knight is not called upon solely for their skill in combat. It is also their duty to instill courage and hope. You must hold your head high and serve the needs of your nation. The needs of my nation? Feels like the whole world's resting on your shoulders, doesn't it? It's not, though. Remember, you're not the only one fighting to protect this country. We're a strange gaggle of misfits, I admit, but we'll carry that burden with you. Torna lives and dies by its people. We fight it for it together. Every one of us. Right, give me a moment. I know there's not much time, but I'll... I'll see what I can do. Oh, Hello, sweetlings. What can I do you? I warn you now, I'm not exactly the most able-bodied person here. I am Ulfa. I run the accessory shop back in Formidae's shopping world. Thought you might not... Though you might not know it. Ever since I've put my granddaughter in charge of the stall, I've been quite particular to my daily walks. The Outriders Forest Trail in particular is a lovely walk. There are moments when the sunlight dapples through the trees and I need think to myself, Pah! Who needs Elysium? Oh, it was idyllic, at least up until recently. These days, the forest is so littered with junk you can't really appreciate its beauty anymore. At first, I tried to clean it up myself, so I did. But try as I might, the litter would not go away, piling up faster than I could get rid of it. At this rate, I thought to myself I'll have to abandon my lovely walk and find somewhere else. Would you be a dear and help me clean the place up? I'm sure you'll do a better job than I. Okay, well, who's who's trashing the forest trail? Why? Okay. I see. Okay, who's littering? How dare you? We got that. Very good. Can I talk to you all for a moment? What's on your mind, Jin? Don't you think it's strange? The forest may be close to the road, but even so, there shouldn't be this much trash lying around. Huh, maybe some passerbys were attacked by monsters and had to dump their stuff? I don't think that's very likely. The gate guards would have noticed. But why would someone come all the way out here to get rid of this stuff? There may not have been a reason. Come again? What I mean, I think they simply threw it away for the sake of throwing it away. Sorry, I'm still not getting you here. He says somebody has been simply pulling a prank. A prank? But who'd do something like that? We're going to assemble more... Need to assemble more clue... Bah! We're going to need more clues if we want to assemble a picture of the perpetrator, it seems. Yeah. What the, in the... Guys, look! Eh? There's more than before. I think it's clear now that somebody's doing this intentionally. First of all, let's go and pick up the rest of the litter. How dare you! We're gonna smack you. Aha! Alright. Now to find who's doing this. Whew, finally, that should be the last of it. Ah, who's there? Hehe. <laughs> Ruru. Friends did well to sniff us out. Is that the the gang? Why? Are you the ones who've been littering the forest? That's right, and may Ruru say, very well done. You take person of many wiles to disarm all traps of four muskerpon. But now we sorry to say that you meet your match. Ruru, thousand percent certain that friends will fail. 
for Muscarpone. Never heard of you. We talk to them. <laughs> Pick up ears and listen well, friends. We only make time for one extended introduction. Boo! Gotcha, gotcha. Yoku, yoku. Komemi. Though not of same blood, we share same goal. We sink, we swim, in same boat as one whole. We brothers in arms, born under same star. Do not hear of name, a thing quite bizarre. For muscarpone. No panic nine minus five. Yoku Yoku and friends. Meh, that's right. Um. They're all saying different things. Meh, we agreed yesterday we'd go with an oponic 9 minus 5. But it flows so badly, cannot just tack on minus 5 at the end. What problem with 4 musker pond? Meh, 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 why so many dumb names? It's clear Yoku Yoku and friends is superior choice. Excuse me. Uh, whatever your name is, can we talk for a second? Now, why are you throwing garbage? Meh, meh? Why exactly are you strewing litter around everywhere? Because I think you should know that a sweet old lady asked us to clean it up for her so she can enjoy her walk. Could you please just stop this and go somewhere else? Meh. Granny Ofa is upset with us. Granny, you know her. I'm sorry. I'll try to behave in future, meh. Alright, well I'm glad you understand. That was surprisingly easy. As if. You thought we'd pack up and leave? Think again. Muscarpone, to me, we retreat for now, but come back soon. Big bro, always know what to do. Running away is also kind of victory. What? Why are you like this? Hey! Those little nippers. I think it's safe to let them go. We've already singled them out. We, only ne we need only identify them one by one, and this matter will be resolved. Looks like they ran towards the capital. Alright, then we'll fit them out one at a time, like Hugo said. We better go and tell Ofa about all of this. Alright. <laughs> Hi. I don't know if she'll actually... Okay. So it was no pun, was it? Huh. I had suspicion it might be those kids. Would you mind bringing them to me? I'd like to have a word with them. They're always running around, treating the city like their playground. They'll be playing hide and seek, no doubt. If you could do this for me, I'd be ever so grateful. Absolutely. How dare they? Come on now, we're gonna drag you by your your wings. I was gonna say ears, but I don't think no one have <laughs> ears that we can grab onto. Oh, they have wings. Hi, Mimi. Who's not I'm sure this place is so secret? Friends not find in a million years. So this is where you were hiding. Now stop this nonsense and go apologize to the lady. All right. Kind of. Gotcha, gotcha, been found out. It's okay, we'll come quietly. Him boy, gotcha, gotcha, in part. First on screw gotcha, gotcha, not complain. We'd never do anything like that. We just want you to apologize for what you did. You can do that, can't you? <laughs> oh my goodness. With a fish? Welcome, friends. How many? Hell no, game of cold mimi is up. Well, it's admirable that you're working so diligently, but first things first, you should really go and apologize to the lady. Absolutely. Are you here? Hello. May you found Ruru? Sorry, Brother Pon. Please not let sacrifice of Ruru be in vain. I see what's going on here. You're trying to make yourself sound like you're the good guys. But crime's a crime, and you can't just pretend it's not. Littering is not cool on any level. All right, there we go. Please give them an earful. Go apologize and stop making a mess. This city's already seen enough mess that we need to clean up. Goodness, so you whippersnappers were behind the littering, were you? I had such a lovely time talking to you all back when I ran the shop. See, guys, there was never any need for you to run away. She wasn't going to grow fangs and gobble you up or anything. Grow fangs? He grew it up. Old woman, oh, if I can do that, meh. Gotcha, gotcha, is not good to eat. It's full of additives and flavorings. Oh, mammy, too gummy anyways, would not be able to chew. I said she won't eat you. Now let's calm down here for a second. I take it you had good reason to do what you did. You're probably only scattering litter on the days that Miss Ofa had her walk, weren't you? Wait, really? 
It's because we are feeling lonely. Gotcha, gotcha. Please to shut mouth strap. Old lady always nice to us every time we visit shop. Always had friendliest conversations. It was so much fun and plenty of free time for Muskard Palm. Made a point of visiting every day. But then all that changed. After Miss Ofa leaves stall, was always on her own by self. Always taking walks to forest, looking up at sky. So Muscarpone only had one option. He wanted to give her some company. But you were too embarrassed to show it, so you hid and played pranks on her instead. No, no, that all wrong. We do it to be mean to her, make life difficult for her. I'm sure you did. All right, now I understand everything. Oh, you silly billies. I appreciate the sentiment, but you're forgetting one very important thing. What? What we forget? I go on my walks through the forest because I enjoy having a bit of peace and quiet. I wasn't at all lonely. Not lonely? Then Riru will stop littering now. Whole plan was maybe big mistake in first place. From now on, four Muscopone aim to have new mission. We'll have to shake brain box, but we'll find special something only Muscopone can do. And when that done... No guarantees, but might even bother to drop in by time to time and say hello. Is that so? Well, I do look forward to seeing you all again. Yay! Gotcha, gotcha. Very glad. It's difficult for Brother Ruru to speak on us, but he not mean bad. Meh meh. Happy ending for all. Three cheers for a four muscarpon. <laughs> hey, shut traps, all of you. You've been through a lot for this old woman. Now I can enjoy my walks with a peace of mind. Thank you sincerely. You're very welcome, ma'am. Now, boys, no more falling out, do you hear? <laughs> Cute. Hi, Charlotte. Excuse me, have you... Any of you had the occasion to visit Torgoth recently? It's just that my instructor left for Torgoth and I haven't heard back from him since... Oh dear, how long has it been since he left? Weeks now. He told me it was becoming more and more likely that Torna would come under attack. He said he wanted to visit his hometown before the Aegis came and destroyed us all. Can you tell us his name? Yes, of course. It's Terrace. He's in his 40s. He's a bit of a cautious character. He likes his daily walks in the countryside. Oh, and I guess he's got a real passion for glasswork. I can tell he's very important to you. We'll start searching for him right away. Don't you worry. You, you will? Absolutely. I know what it's like to have someone you care about on your mind. We'll get Terrace back, safe and sound, I promise. Oh, thank you. I'm so sorry to trouble you. I can be such a worrier. I've been told he lives at the far end of Torgoth. If you find him, could you tell him that his student Charlotte's worried about him? Um, was it so wise to tell her that, Laura? You know Torgoth's been, you know. I'm going to make a thorough search, and then we'll tell her what we know. Whatever the truth may be. Yeah. Oh, the fact that this is we called passing the torch is not great. Okay. Right. Ooh. Uh, whoops. It looks like we're almost ready to proceed with the evacuation. If it wasn't for all of your support, we might have never been able to pull this off. I thank you in the name of Torna. I don't know what you're thinking me. I'm a knight now, remember? And you know what else? I'm really starting to like this place. You get to see so many different walks of life here. It's a real melting pot. I've noticed that. So many intertwining lives all together in one place. I have felt the same about the cities of Moradain. There is much to like about their urban environs. You're making me want to pay a visit now. Then we can all go together. We'll finish off Malos and take Hugo back home personally. Oh yes, please. We'll welcome you with... Open arms. The streets will be awash with cheer. I appreciate it if we could stip any of the formal stuff. Hey, listen. Do you think we'll even stand a chance against Malos? Having a clue. His power seems far off the charts. I couldn't even guess. He still has his limits, and besides, Adam's never been able to handle me as effectively as he can now. That's right. Master Adam's more than prepared to take that creep down now. I will be right there to watch it happen, won't we, Mick? You've come this far. I may as well see it through. Those lads. You're not serious. Do you even know how dangerous it is to be even remotely near Malos? Just by tagging along with us, you're putting your lives on the line. Oh, and I suppose we've been perfectly safe till now uh, as well, have we? 
We know what we're getting into, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. Myth or drop it. Come on, let's head back to the inn. I want to get a good night's sleep before a decisive battle. Very wise. I'll really have to talk this through with Mikhail and Milton. Ah! Okay. Well, we still got a lot to do, though, first. Is it too much to hope for one survivor? Probably. I mean, didn't see anyone here before. And the quest is called Passing the Torch, so I don't have the highest of hopes. And this is leading us to the graveyard, so definitely not. But, uh, yeah. Hi. <sighs> oh no, this one says Terrace. Yeah, must have been made by someone who knew him. I'm sorry everyone, but I had to make sure. One way or another, Charlotte will need some closure on this. I'm with you, Laura. I've done the same in your position. That's the sad thing about miracles. They rarely happen. Don't beat yourself up about it. And I'll start. It wasn't your fault, Laura. You don't have to bear the burden. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, guys. Do you think perhaps Tara's left something behind that we could take to Charlotte as keepsake? Like what? I don't can't see anything of worth left around here. Charlotte says he was a cautious man, in which case it's possible that he would have predicted the attack. And we still don't know exactly why he came back here in the first place. I admit I'm very curious. Then I suggest we start by investigating the area around his lodgings. Your Majesty, please watch your step. I'm sure His Majesty doesn't require that much molly coddling, Aegean. <laughs> Do you think he might have known Mother? If he did, we owe him thanks. It must have been hard to... A hard life for her all alone here. Yeah. If only we made it in time. We could have simply asked. Sleep type, Terrace. I put you in a better place now. Ah! Uh, ah! Excavation! The suspense is killing Stop. me. Good. Ooh. Oh. You're coming with me. Maybe treasure. a book? Ah, his notes. Ah, we're just gonna steal all his money, too. That That's fine, right? Just a scrap of paper? Seriously? It says Knox Promontory on it, and that's it. He could have at least signed it or something. How are we supposed to make sense of anything now? Hold on, I've seen this kind of writing before. It's been written with a glass pen. When this is dried, hidden colors will show themselves. You mean, like, a pen made of glass? I've never heard of such a thing. One of Torna's finest inventions. It only caught on with enthusiasts, so I'm not surprised you haven't heard of it. Indeed, but this means there's a good chance that this writing belongs to Terrace himself. This Nox Promontory may be worth checking out then. Oh. Oh. Okay. You're coming with me, Something's treasure. buried down here. Let's Don't have to tell see me twice. what this is. See? I knew you could do it. Treasure hunt. You're coming with me, treasure. Oh, glassmaker's tome. Ah. Let's see. This is a technical manual on glasswork. It goes into great detail about the manufacturing processes. There are all sorts of diagrams and annotations. Hold on. Terrace came all the way out here to bury this. Kind of weird, isn't it? Oh, well, maybe he buried it, or maybe he came here to dig it up. We don't know for certain. Didn't Charles tell us that he was worried about there being an Aegis attack on Torna? This is just speculation, but maybe he left it here to spare his knowledge from destruction. If you're right, then it's a terrible irony that he met his demise in Gormont. How awful. Think it's... we should put it back then? It's probably best not to leave it in Torna. No, I think this is something that Charlotte needs to see. She should be the one to decide what to do with it. Fair enough. Hi. Oh, hello. Nice to see you again. Have you had news from Terrace? 
Now, Charlotte, I don't want you to be alarmed, but your teacher, he's... He's really dead and Torgoth destroyed? I, I can't believe it. This, this isn't real. I mean, he was only just here. Why? Why did it have to be him? And you're telling me this manual is the only thing that's left of him? Charlotte, please. There was so much I s needed to learn from him. So much more I needed to know. It wasn't supposed to be like this. Well, it's all over now, isn't it? The trade, my little fillyhood, what's the point of anything anymore? That's not true. The only time that someone is truly gone is when you forget them. Oh, As long as you cherish your memories of him, he'll live on in your heart. And yet, I'll never see him again. You can see him again in your memories. That's why I wanted you to have this. Keep it or throw it away, it's your choice, but at the very least, take it. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, I really do need to get it together, don't I? As a student, I should be respecting his devotion to his trade. Otherwise, I have a feeling he'll be telling me off from beyond the grave. I believe in you, you can just take the research notes and learn. Let's chat first. We're almost at the final showdown, Mick. Yeah. Excited? Maybe a bit. We've got to make sure we don't get in anyone's way when the action's going down. Yeah, I'll try. Alright, let's go. Whoa, whoa, slow down. What's the hurry? First we have to head back to the capital and get some much needed rest at the end. Alora, we're not tired. No, no. We won't be malos unless we're at all operating at peak performance. We can't lose concentration for an instant, or it could be the last mistake we ever make. So, let's rest up. Okay, Laura, I get it. Hear that, Mick? We're gonna go rest now. Cool. Oh, uh, well, we didn't quite get as into as much story as I planned on today. Nothing really that exciting happened as far as the main story was. And, uh, yeah, Laura got knighted. That was pretty exciting. I did like that. And now everyone's like, oh, she's so cool. And, you know. We, we already knew that. We already knew that she was cool. But yeah, we did a ton of side quests today, which I wasn't expecting there to be so many today, but I'm not complaining. That is definitely not a complaint because I've enjoyed most of these. Actually, I've enjoyed all of them. However, a few did make me sad. Like the glassmakers one. And for a while there, the, the one with the way too intense dude trying to woo the art seller was like, oh, oh, he died. What the, what the, I wasn't expecting Azurda to come into the side quest. I, yeah, that, that took a turn. I, I have no idea how this guy wasn't dead after we buried him alive, I guess. Um, sheer willpower. Alright, my beautiful beans and things, you know what time it is. It's time to read some comments. Our first comment is by StermAH. Not the fishies! Obviously, by far, the worst crime that Malos committed was killing all the fish in Torna. Okay, maybe not really, but I am glad. Do you have a quest where you can restore the fish? I was very happy about that. But we shall never forgive Malos for the fish. But anyways, Thank you for your comment. Our next comment is by El Yamo. You can't convince me that wasn't love at first sight. Or I guess I should say sword clash? By the way, Malus's boss theme in Torna is called Over Despair and Animus, an arrangement of Amalthus's boss theme in the main game. An interesting choice. I mean, if Malos wasn't so absolutely terrible, I could absolutely see him and Adam being friends and having way too much fun sparring with each other. However, the fact remains that Malos is indeed terrible. So sadly, they could not be friends. But I hadn't realized that about the music. So thank you for pointing that out because that is actually pretty interesting and it does make a lot of sense that they would use Amalthus's boss theme as Malos's since Malos's craziness came from Amalthus. But thank you for that interesting tidbit and thank you for your comment. Our next comment is by Mr. Author 3DS. Malos is also a lot more childish at this time, like a rowdy, playful delinquent in his case. He's only dragging out his attack on Torna because he wants to have fun with this one. Yeah, even Mithra kind of calls him out on it. Like, is this a game to you? And he's like, yeah, of course, I want to have fun, basically. I guess it works in our favor, 
kind of, sort of, at least in the short term. But yeah, you can definitely see a difference between him and Torna and in the base game. In the base game, he seems more calculated and less wanting to play around, though he still has the cocky attitude. So not a complete change. But anyways, thank you for your comment. That's going to be it for today. So as always, have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see y'all soon.